Pirates Eternal Wub. Oh yeah, it's very common to be getting games with pro players, especially in the beta. You gotta remember that I have very high um, MR, MMR slash SR. Um, so it's trying to make it somewhat fair game. So when there's players that are really, like, really, really good, it's very common to put them in with other players that are similar ELO. Because we both play GM, there's only a small number of GM players. Oh shit. Uh, that hack actually fucked me so bad. Hey, hey, Black Sire, I'm a teacher in high school Overwatch coach. Really? My school district treats you sports like football or any other sport. Really? My Jay, the captain and rain player, is your biggest fan in New Zealand. His name is Hunter. That feels good. So one of my, uh... Ow, ow, ow! That's actually really cool, um, uh, because... Even just a few years ago, it was kind of unheard of even at the high school, I mean, the college level, um, to have, like, really, really, like, supported esports. And, I mean, I don't know how much it's changed, but I know, like, Maryville, I think it's Maryville? I think Maryville's had, like, a, like a bunch of people, like, sign recently, and then they end up going to Overwatch League after, which was, like, completely the opposite from beforehand, because people wouldn't want to go to college teams because they still wanted to at some point go to Overwatch League. So to see that kind of change is actually pretty good because uh, let's face it, not every player is going to be an Overwatch League or a pro player. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't be allowed to play either, you know, and not have scholarships. Just like Division One, Division Two players of football, soccer, baseball, etc. So that's actually pretty cool. This is also gonna. This is definitely gonna tell my age a little bit. Um, I was in high school when video games were like okay, like they were cool. Like you know, it was cool to play video games, but like not like only play video games. Like if you only went home every day and played video games and like you didn't do sports or anything like that, then it was like oh, you're a nerd, you're weird, you know. I was one of the people that played sports as well. Like I did football, powerlifting, and rugby, so it was like it was fine, quote unquote. But I, I remember I used to get like memed with all the time. Like even the teachers would meme because anytime like something like when the new Call of Duty came out one year, I wasn't like I wasn't even feeling that good, so I just didn't go to school. I was like, fuck, new Call of Duty's out, I don't feel like going, I'm not feeling that good. Fuck it, dude. So I didn't go. And then for the next four years, that was like for the next three years, that was like the thing it was like, oh new Call of Duty come out, Watson didn't come to school. You know? And like I understand it, like it was kind of, it kind of, I kind of deserved it. It kind of made sense, but um, the reason they were cool with memeing it was because like I played other things and was thought like it's like more cool, you know. But like if anyone else did that, like they were just like, oh, you're fucking weird, bro. So it's kind of cool that the, uh, the perception is changing quite a bit. So it's being more respected. If that makes sense, because uh, physically it's not as tough, but. I'd argue, actually, mentally and, like, skill ceiling-wise, it's actually almost tougher. We have 17 local high schools with Varsity Frost South. We just hosted over 200 players on our campus for finals. All in Bakersfield, California, had two of my varsity players get offered multiple scholarships. That's awesome, dude. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I think yeah, I think my favorite part of it. Okay, low key. This is gonna be like this might sound a little cynical, um, but I always kind of hated the idea that it was like video games are a waste of time and people are always like they look down on it really heavy. And I'm like, dude, how is this any different than like? football, you know? And, like, don't get me wrong, like, I love football. I played, I played a ton of it. I played it in high school. I played it in college. You know? I watch a lot less nowadays than I used to, but, you know, I don't think it takes away from my, you know, past experiences too much. Um, but it's like, dude, if you spend all your time, like, 
Like, I remember people got in trouble sometimes for, like, watching film in class. Like, you'd watch film in class on your laptop or, you know, something like that. Like, you were distracted, obviously. Like, like you know, it was kind of thought it was like, oh, like, they're just trying to better themselves, you know, better at the sport and, like, how dare you kind of, like, you know, be mean to them about, like, doing that, you know? But it's like, if you were watching, like, any video game stuff in, in class, good lord, you would just be, like... Did fucking detention, ripped a new asshole, you know? Um, so it was always, like, thought of as, like, a second-class type of activity, right? Um, and I mean, even when I started streaming, like, my mom was, like, very much against it, because she was like, holy shit, like, you should be looking for another job when I got laid off for the pandemic. Um, and I was like, no, I'm gonna give this thing a shot. And she was like, no, like, you're being an idiot. I was like, no, I think it, I think it can work. And it did. So, I mean, I was right, but so especially to other people, it's like, you know, like, no, that's terrible. What are you doing? But, Shit, our order's popped. Holy shit. 